okay uh once again welcome on my channel uh today i have a very 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 important uh video that i want to share with you guys i am happy that you're already on the video and the title for today is wordpress simple settings it means that when you finish creating your wordpress website yes when you finish set, uh, creating let's say after setting everything up okay the simple settings that you need to do yes it's very very important simple settings that you need to do after creating your website okay so without wasting my time i'll still go back to my website as you all know the dot com world okay now after setting everything up you won't get the term like this this is a new term that i installed myself i did the settings and i did everything myself okay what happens is you are going to get a new hello world uh settings let's say a new site with hello world on it in fact it's not all that nice so you need to buy your own okay you need to buy your own uh terms okay well right in the description you will get where you can get terms okay you can get terms you can buy different kinds of terms for your uh for your website most of the times it depends on the kind of website you want to create for yourself if your word website that you want to create is for a classified website let's say it's a classified website for example if you want to sell space to people or you want people to publish their ads for free or something like that you will need a term like mine okay yes it's the same thing somebody who wants to sell ebooks will get a different term okay specially designed for him to sell his books get where the person can click get pay, uh, paying in the distance uh, and where the person can click pay for the book download it and everything is set up with the term okay most of the people also download or buy terms maybe for a different purpose like uh, having a news website that one will be different from that this kind of term okay so we have different kind of terms although you can browse from the google uh, terms and then oh sorry you can browse from the wordpress terms and then choose one that you want but if you want a term really you need to buy it. in fact if you buy a term that really fits well you will be very happy with it they have they really have nice terms from the numerous uh, the numerous kind of site that i'll provide but before uh, going into all this uh, not wasting my time I told you about the different settings you need to do okay first of all the different settings that you need to do if you want to do the settings okay the first thing first meaning that you will come to settings here is where you will do everything okay so we are going to go through all this up to here where the permalink is permalinks is okay askimet is a plugin adinsetta is a plugin add to any is a plugin tinyam ce advanced is a plugin xcm site tab link checker and all those they are plugins so we don't need them but the settings end up in the permalinks okay so the first thing you need to do is the general okay just click on the general and different kinds of settings will come around it's loading okay here is where you are going to set or you are going to give a name to your website so here you are going to give the site title so you can see here that I've written dot com word okay now here is your tagline the tagline really talks about it. in a few words that explains you about your site okay so I've written your online business home you understand what I'm talking about now let's go deep into it here is your WordPress URL most of the time you can change it here 
okay you can change it here but most of the times it comes from from the beginning that is before even installing the wordpress okay you set everything up there then you install the wordpress then it will show up here the domain of your website in fact you can get domain around for for few bucks okay for just few few something like ten dollars eight nine dollars there are even some of them that offers you free domain for, for life when you buy hosting from them well i'll offer you some free uh some kind of this thing hosting down there for you okay now this is the site address okay the site address that's the url and that is the url that i'm using okay so here you will just type in your url if you you don't have the one here okay so you can change it here now email this is my email contact at dot com or dot tk so if you have a different if you want to use a different mail for it fine you can use it but when you buy your domain you normally get free domain uh, free email for that okay so you can type it here so that messages to this website will be sent directly to this or they will be kept here for you okay now here is membership whoa not everybody will like the membership okay not everybody will like the membership but there are people that can register to it and then they get you yes they can send you messages you can send them messages you can chat with them okay now new user role well a new user role for me is a subscriber but you can you can give them different things as a ceo manager it means that they are people okay anyone can register but you can you can give them a role over here let's say that uh you want somebody or you've got a new ceo editor or a ceo manager a shop manager because i have shop on this website okay so if i have a shop manager the person who can manage the shop i can assign him as a shop manager and the person can only works on the shop part of my website okay we have customer subscriber author and many more okay so you need to set it up but since you maybe you are not in for shop and all those things you know how to you can the person can be your subscriber so that you can send messages to them okay now the site language well it depends on on you if you think you can understand or you want your website to be in this then you can you can do it now my time zone is using london but i can change it to accra or any different thing okay so you just choose choose the one that you want now the date format this also depends on you if you want your date format to be in this form you can select that one too okay now the date format uh, the time format the time format too depends on you you can customize it in this way okay now here you can select how your week starts so after setting this up just click on save changes okay so this is the first settings that you need to do okay the first settings that you need to do after this we still have to go back okay we are here the writing there is no need writing your articles and they appear as if they are written by a child yes Whoa. so this is what happens over here you can give or you can create one uh category uh, category for for all your posts here but i have this uncategorized it means that when i write an article i have to assign them one of the categories okay but if in case i forget they are going to appear in the uncategorized part of the distance okay of my blog now my default post standard uh, post is in standard okay yes when i post them it will be in standard not as a chart or different things now post via email well i don't use that one but if in case you want to use that one then you can find more settings to that okay you can find more settings when your let's say your mobile phone or different machine accept okay you just need to have i think you have more settings for that you can get it from your server uh sorry from your service uh, network service you can offer it i think yahoo and all those email services also have some different kinds of servers for that they can give you the different kinds of uh system for it now update service now here is also very important 
you can see from here that I have a lot of it here. What happens here is that when you publish a new post, WordPress will automatically notify the following site update services. Okay, so you see all the this website that I have here, okay, Pingo, they just ping the website. It means that they will store it on their website, then they will show up to different people on their website. Okay, so when I post and when I post a new post, they will go straight to all this website, then it will be pinged over there. Okay, so you can find more, then you separate them. Okay, so after all this, click on save changes. Now, the reading. My network is slow normally. Yes, I don't think this will because you need to select your latest post on your front page, it will show up on your front page. You can select a number of posts to show up within a feed, article in the feed to show, then search engine visibility. Yes, you can you need to not to take this. If you take this, nothing will show up in the search engine for you. Discourage search engines from next and this website. So it must leave it like this. You shouldn't take it up. Okay, now discussion. On the discussion, yes, you just need to, if you want to allow comments, if you want to allow article settings on all different things, you just read it and you just, yes, anyone can post a comment. Yes, if you don't want anyone to post a comment, you just need to take this off. And then comment is held for moderation. If you want to read the post, the comment before you approve it on your website, and take it if you don't want that one to you just need to move it up so after all this okay click on save changes the media well the media is about uh the media is about the files that you upload the weights and heights and all those things okay now the payment links that was very important to me okay the payment links, this is about the links. When you post something, how it will show up. And the best one that you have to do is using this custom structure. Okay. Here, it will be the post name. It means that the post name should include, should include a keyword. So anytime you post it, the post name will appear here. And it will be straight like this, your website stroke the post name it means that your post title not the post sample not the achieve or something like that but here so most of the time your title should include your keyword and that keyword will appear here and when people search online they'll find you easily okay so here there are different kinds of uh category bases that you can okay so product permalink that's for the shop okay i always use the standard one not sample product and this thing so after using all this, click on save changes. Okay. So you now know what to do. Okay. Immediately after installing your WordPress website, all that you have to do is to go through the settings. Change all the settings. After changing all your settings, then you can continue with appearance and then customize your website. Okay. Start posting your your blog, uh, your articles and any other information on your website thank you for watching happy that you are really here you know what i want a like or subscribe to my channel more information coming more videos coming but more videos and more videos about wordpress coming thank you for watching and hope to see you in my next video thank you